grouse hunting. They're here, they're not. Maybe you see them, you hear them. Today I'm not getting that. But, uh, I don't know. I'm right down to it, being out in the woods, carrying a shotgun, walking with a dog. All right, let's go. There's something to that. But putting the bird in the bag every once in a while be kind of nice. <laughs> I don't know. Let a little more daylight left. So as, as I was saying before, this uh, grouse season has not worked out for me that well. I'm not gonna say exactly how many bags have or have not ended up in the vest, but it hasn't been very many. And, um, but I, uh, I think I might have figured out the other day what the problem is. I discovered a couple of grouse that were frozen in my freezer from 2019. And if there's ever gonna be a bad karma moment in hunting, it's because you didn't clean out the freezer from the year before. So I'm gonna get right on that. And um, I think I might be too late for this year, but it's bound to help in 2021. So I see some, uh, I think I see some noodle soup in my future. What do you think? So I'm making grandma's chicken noodle soup today, but with a little bit of a twist, I'm doing it with grouse. So I've already made the stock. I started off by salting the birds really well while I prepped the grill. I decided to roast these off in a cast iron pan in a hot grill to give it kind of an added depth of smoky flavor. Once the meat had been cooked off, it probably took maybe 25 minutes, I let it rest, stripped the meat off the bones, put the bones in the stock pot. And then a real added, uh, added bonus to this was this kind of smoky charred goodness in the bottom of the pan that I was able to scrape off and then add to the stock pot. I let this simmer for four to six hours, added some vegetables at the last hour and strained everything out. Now I've got the, the base for the soup. All that good flavor from the pan into the pot. So I'm gonna make the noodles now. And uh, so what I usually do is I use one and a half to two cups of flour. So I just get two cups out. I don't use quite all of it. I use a fork to mix it up. Good pinch of salt. Three eggs, or a little well of, I'm just using all purpose flour, right? Here's the bread maker, it's just all pur purpose. Yeah. Nothing special. I'm a real cook, I'll be able to do this with one hand. I'm never able to figure that out. forgot do about a couple tablespoons of cream ish oh, we're losing it we're losing the well we're losing it we're losing it that's all right just mix it in point I guess we can get our hands messy so I just need it to a consistent level and I can't tell yet whether I'm gonna need more flour or not I kind of think I do Almost. 
almost there. So if I was gonna make it rolling this out a little easier on myself, I would have done this ahead of time. And you can put it in the fridge. And it makes it so it doesn't, that relaxes the gluten. And it doesn't um, stretch back as bad. But these are a really rough country style noodle. And they're gonna be rolled out pretty thick. So, I usually don't mess with doing it ahead of time, but it does make it a little easier. It's actually looking pretty good. See how that's bouncing back in? You let it relax, it doesn't do that as bad. But I think I'm starting to win. There was a long way to make a chicken noodle soup. This would probably be it. I'm gonna go out in the woods, shoot a couple birds, pluck them, roast them on a grill, make noodles by hand. But it's a good day to do it. All right, I'm gonna call that good. And you can cut these with a really sharp knife, but I have found a pizza cutter, which is pretty good too. So like I said, these are just a really rustic farm style noodle. So we're not worried about making anything perfect. So we'll leave these here to rest for, you. it could be anywhere from, put them, put them in right now, to one to three or four hours. I actually like them to, to sit out for a little bit longer, that you get a little better chew with them, and I think it's a little better noodle in the soup. So, now we'll cut some veggies. garlic and the celery top glass so they don't burn. You 
Okay, so we've put the veggies in and they have simmered just long enough to get the carrots softened up and uh, ready to go. So I'm just going to taste it real quick. Little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. You just use just a little bit of sherry vinegar. I'm gonna, so, th so this is pre-cooked meat that we uh, took off of the grill. So I'm just gonna slice that. Little shop part, might as well take that out. Good time to do it. Oh, this is gonna be nice and meaty. We'll get this up to a good boil again. And, and then we'll add the, the noodles. Just let those cook for a few minutes and we'll be good to go. Oh, that's good. We still get a little bit of that funkiness. From rough grouse. We're mixing it really good with the veggies. Put a little herbs in with it. It's good. <laughs>